Now this is good. You didn't tell the president that you had cancer, that you were being treated for cancer, or that the treatment for that cancer had gone wrong because you saw it as personal and medical. And I think a lot of us have empathy for you in that regard. But now that you see how personal medical decisions are, will you call for the re-recruitment, restoration of full rank and back pay for the 8,600 service members who were vax mandated out of the military? Uh, no, I won't. So on March 4th, 2021, you authored a memo. It was entitled Message to the Force. And in that memo, you said that there would be clear and swift accountability for anyone who didn't meet the highest standards of the Department of Defense. Now, w however this worked out, we all acknowledge that what you did here didn't meet the highest standards, right? You made a mistake. I, I admit it to Yeah, uh, okay, so we got that. So then the question is, what becomes the, the clear and swift accountability? Now, you're not going to be discharged, right? No? That, that's right. Okay, not you're, you're not going to be suspended. You're not going to be demoted, and you're not going to have your pay cut. None of those things are going to happen to you, right? That's right. Okay, so you come here seeking some grace and some forgiveness. And I want you to know that one of the service members who you've asked mandated out of the military sent me the parable of the unforgiving debtor. And it's in the book of Matthew, uh, it's verses uh, 21 to 35. The man fell down before his king and begged him, Please be patient with me, and I will pay all the debt. Then his master, filled with pity for him, released him and forgave him of his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. He grabbed him by the throat and demanded payment. His fellow servant sat down and begged him for a little more time. Be patient with me, and I will pay it, he pleaded. But his creditor would not wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. And the king called the man who had been forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be tortured until he had paid his entire debt. Mr. Secretary, you come to us seeking forgiveness, but you offer none. And it seems as though the pattern is repeated. You make a mistake, like on the VAX mandate and here regarding your notification, then you get busted. President Biden had to sign something into law reversing your, your VAX mandate. You got busted here, not because you came forward, but because we learned of this through other means. And then after you get busted making a mistake, you, know, you, want, you want that benefit but you don't want to extend it to others. Um, this isn't swift or clear. You're not meeting your own standards that you set for yourself. And you say that the DOD is a learning organization. Haven't you learned yet that the military is weaker, not stronger, with the 8,600 people that you've ax mandated out of the military? Uh, just one point, uh, uh, Congressman. The reason I'm here is because the uh, chairman requested that I appear to, to uh, um, talk about the circumstances surrounding uh, my hospitalization. But don't you see the hypocrisy in it? Because you screwed up, we fix your screw up, and now you want grace, but these people who have sought re religious exemptions, they got no such grace. And also, I just think it's ridiculous that we're in three wars, you went AWOL for three days, and we get two hours with you. If you can't spend more than two hours answering these questions, I don't know how you really operate in all these wars. I think Matt Gates has an excellent point on this one because this is very typical of the establishment. You do as I say, not as I do. And I love how you use a Bible story to expose the hypocrisy from this one. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section. This is beautiful. I had to share it. God bless you. Catch you on the next one.